We're about 20 minutes from the Salton Sea and somebody on Instagram told me that there were geothermic mud bubbles out here. So I got really excited about it and I uh, yelped it and it pretty much took me to the middle of nowhere. And so we'll see if there's any geothermic mud bubbles. I definitely hear mud bubbles. You know what? I think that guy was right. Mud volcanoes are basically the same thing as real volcanoes or magmatic volcanoes. But instead of shooting lava into the air, they release a clay water mixture that looks a lot like mud. Mud volcanoes are associated with tectonic regions. And while this makes sense because the San Andreas fault line runs right next to the Salton Sea, which is where I saw these particular mud volcanoes. And just like real volcanoes, these mud volcanoes are powered by the Earth's mantle core. And they serve as an area on the surface of the Earth to relieve pressure of pent up gas several thousand feet under the ground. Because we all know that pent up gas can be uncomfortable. Speaking of gases, the gas that mud volcanoes release is almost entirely methane which means that they both stink and are flammable. The temperature of the mud can be anywhere from almost freezing at 36 degrees Fahrenheit to almost boiling at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And the largest mud volcanic eruption was in Java, Indonesia. And in one day, it released 6.3 million cubic feet of mud. That is the same volume as 21 Goodyear blimps filled with mud. That's pretty dirty. Okay, it really is super gnarly. It's like standing on a volcano. Every time it bubbles, you can feel it underneath your feet. It's like standing right here. I can feel every time this thing bubbles. And look, it's like spitting up mud. It's like lava. I mean, that looks pretty hot. It's steaming. I wouldn't want to put my hand in there. And it smells too. It smells like tar. It smells like asphalt out here. and smells coming from the center of the earth powered by magma.